Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel, welcome to another GT Sport Daily AC race review from the Nordschleife in Germany in the Group 4 machinery. In this race we are looking for some redemption in the Lamborghini. Now you might well be asking why you're looking for redemption in the Lamborghini. Well, on the live stream we did earlier that day, so we actually recorded this race after the live stream from which this footage is from we jumped into the Lamborghini on race number three now to be fair we did absolutely no warm-up in the car whatsoever but even so we we're about to have one of the most embarrassing races on stream that I've ever had in fact I think I don't think there's any two doubts about it it was definitely the most embarrassing moment I've had whilst I've been live streaming so I'm not the fastest driver out there but I do pride myself on being quite consistent and reliable and well what little kind of consistency and reliability I had completely deserted me in this car as we managed to bin the car completely three times within the first three minutes of the race going all the way from P3 down to P20 absolutely embarrassing i was mortified i'm going to be honest with you uh, especially when we did this third spin you can tell from my reaction i tried to keep it cool it got slightly better for the rest of the race but we were so far behind that that race was over i did say at the end of the live stream i was maybe looking for a little bit of revenge in the lamborghini so we jumped onto the womble sheriff account bought the lamborghini put the exact same livery on it we're down in p18 and let's get this race underway now the first thing i want to kind of pull your attention to is the Porsche in front now I did see this driver within the warm up and they were taking other drivers out and I think it's fair to say it looks like a little bit of a character so we get a much better launch off the line to what she blocks us to the right then blocks us to the left now I wasn't particularly happy with that so we kind of went yeah we're coming through we've got like a redemption run here Mr uh, Porsche you know let's uh, not have any kind of nonsense at the beginning so not particularly sorry that we kind of gave that Porsche driver a slight little bump a little bit naughty on our part, but I did feel like he deliberately borked us twice to stop us from getting past at the start. So, yeah, sorry, not sorry, is that what they say these days? So moving a little bit further into the lap, uh, obviously I had a slightly compromised start there due to the Porsche driver. We've got a fellow Lamborghini driver. He's going to go side by side with us into the super fast left hand. I did my very best to give him space. I made my intentions clear, stayed all the way to, or quite far to the left hand side of the track. There's a minor, tiny little bit of contact and it sees the other Lamborghini spin out. Now I'm not going to exonerate myself completely from that, but I think it was pretty much a racing instant. A little bit later on, the green hell starts to take names as cars start flying off the track left, right and centre. So that's two further positions made up as we get to kind of the sort of midpoint of the lap. And a little bit later on, the track claims yet another victim. Although it does look like there was a little bit of assistance from the Brazilian driver up ahead in that instant. Uh, certainly from my perspective and I haven't actually looked it back on the replay but yeah from what we could see it did look like that was the case drop to P13 two drivers in front of us and again the BMX here the Brazilian is going to go slightly wide into the right hander uphill very easy to do there slightly understeer wide and get a little bit of a moment to be fair to BMX he kind of seems to see us coming keeps his car over to the left hand side of the track and it allows us to make an easy pass down the right hand side and we were straight into the slipstream here of another uh, Toyota 86 now the Lamborghini might not be great at too many things but one thing it can do is uh, go pretty quick in a straight line and that was really no contest whatsoever obviously slipstream assisted but yeah we were long ahead of the 86 before we had to kind of work out what order we're going to enter the fast uh, left hander I think that corner is called prayer although I could be wrong so up into P11 let's jump forward towards the end of the lap and we have caught the cars in front now as a car had a little bit of an incident in the second carousel and it's almost like we know what was about to happen there as we move to the right hand side of that car just as it unghost right in front of us yeah we've done a few races by now on this game we kind of know the shenanigans the ghosting system can get up to in those situations yeah we've all fell victim to a car ghosting right in front of us haven't we so again we kind of get a little bit lucky as we come off the last corner well not quite the last corner but the corner onto the dodging here we are in the slipstream of Chris here in a fellow Lamborghini so again the Lamborghini pretty much a weapon in a straight line even without the slipstream 
it can pretty much monster most cars at this part of the track. And uh, we blast past Chris there and straight into the slipstream, believe it or not, of the Dodge Viper ahead. So going to actually end up coming down to this complex of corners at 170 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, we just don't quite judge the braking point quite right. We very nearly managed to keep it on the track, but we just have to kind of drift off. We see Chris coming back through into the last corner here. Not ideal to have two cars going through there, but we both kind of survive. Uh, absolutely no problem with that move there from Chris. Uh, we went off the track, we had dirty tyres, the gap was there. It was a nice move, but a little bit annoying on my part because we should have been right up behind the Dodge Viper and uh, looking to move into P8. So it takes us down towards the foxhole to kind of gather ourselves together and get up back towards these two cars and it looks like oh one of them's about to be claimed Chris is nearly claimed but the Dodge Viper is claimed completely that looked like a fairly big accident into the barrier so up into P9 Chris just ahead of us we're looking to get by this Lamborghini because we do feel we're a little bit quicker than this driver at this point and then come into this left hander here one of the most dangerous corners on the track and because of that curb there if you catch that it can spit you off to the right hand side Chris gets it a little bit wrong gives us a run into the inside here we fly it down the inside Chris sees it coming actually gave us loads and loads of room uh, and it was more of a kind of uh, you know, he, he kind of more let us pass than other us making a, an actual good overtake so coming all the way forward here to the midpoint of lap number two, we have taken all that time to catch up with the cars in front and there is four of them uh, embroiled in a battle. One of them just picked up a penalty and uh, yeah, we're going to see the GTR and the Lamborghini have a bit of an interesting incident here. Now I kind of just predicted that the Lamborghini was going to come back across the face of my car and we actually, if you look back, you'll see we actually dabbed the brakes to avoid the contact completely. So I was I was quite happy with that bit of driving, I have to say, the Queen very happy with the awareness uh, and just kind of predicting what that Lamborghini was about to do at that point because you can quite clearly see that car had not ghosted as it came speeding back across the track uh, and yeah we could have been caught up in a very very big accident. So the GTR has had a little bit of a moment as well and has came into this complex of corners with dirty tyres, there's a lot of elbows out between me and GDM uh, as we come into the second carousel as well uh, I just knew if we get pushed wide there we end up on the grass so there's a little bit of uh, elbows out from both of us we both survive uh, mostly we drop back a little bit but we managed to keep it in the slipstream of the GTR in front and again you're just going to see what this Lamborghini can do in a straight line especially with a slipstream because the GTR no slouch in a straight line that's for sure We've got the car that was uh, having the penalty as well, serving that penalty, so that's us up into P6. And we're in the slipstream here of JDM, and as you're going to see, just no contest whatsoever. The Lamborghini is just an absolute weapon down the street. And we've got so much overspeed on the GTR, and the car ahead up in P4 is an Audi TT, which we know has no top end. We actually get into the slipstream once again of the car in front at the end of the straight, pretty much the ultimate slipstream, we don't make the same mistake we made at the end of lap number one on the brakes, just a little bit earlier this time, uh, make the apex season nice and comfortably and because the Audi TT has burned its front tyres out, it comes off the last corner very poorly indeed but not quite enough time for us to get ahead and try and claim that P4 but P5 from P18 on the grid is a nice result, felt like a little bit of redemption in Hurricane some interesting moments in that race for sure. Apologies to the driver down in P9, our fellow Huracan driver. That we, I suspect we kind of had played a bit of a part on taking them out. A good recovery all the same. And the other Lamborghini that speared across the track seems to think, as you can see from the post-race chat, that we were responsible for that incident. Uh, I think he needs to be looking at the JDM and the GTR for that. But yeah. A nice race, felt like redemption in the Huracan. I shall leave the video with some replay footage of the sort of more interesting moment of the race. But let me know what you thought of that one. Uh, have you tried the Huracan? There's no two doubts about it. It's a quick car around this combination. Uh, just doesn't seem to really suit my driving style that well. But we did have quite a nice race there, so I'm going to consider those demons exonerated. Uh, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this race, and I shall catch you on the next one. Goodbye now.